Hello there, welcome to Crafting a Life with Fee. So today, before I start cooking dinner, which I'm going to bring you along for the ride, we're going to be doing enchiladas tonight. So I thought, um, I haven't shared that recipe on the channel yet, so I might as well do it on camera. But I wanted to show you my beautiful spring flowers from my garden. Aren't they adorable? They smell just amazing. Just, just smell like spring. Just beautiful big double um, we call these eggs and bacon I'm not sure what what you actually call them and the daffodils jonquils and freesias um, so pretty anyway I'm gonna take you over to the stove and we're going to start by pan frying our tortillas just before we do that I'll just show you the menu plan so obviously Monday Tuesday and Wednesday have happened unfortunately I didn't take a video of last night's dinner uh, which was lasagna and rice vegetables, but I do have a little video um, clip of Monday and Tuesday that I will pop up later in the week. But tonight, you can see there is chicken enchiladas and fried rice. So let's get to it. Okay, so when I say fried rice, I mean lazy man's fried rice. We're going to be using a packet one, which we'll do on the stove a little bit later. Um, it's very very quick and easy. I buy these when they're on sale. You can get them for about a dollar fifty. It's enough just as a side dish for the three of us. Um, we don't have it very often but it is really really good to have when you can't be bothered making a fried rice from scratch. The other thing um, is the tortillas. I use the old El Paso ones. Same thing. I usually buy these when they're on sale half price. These are from the pantry um, so we need to get them used up. So we're going to heat up the little um, pan here, the little cast iron pan, and then we're going to pan fry the tortillas. Now I like them to be a bit crispy, that's why we're going to be pan frying them. So we just pop them straight into the pan like this, get them sort of toasted, um, and then flip it over and then toast the other side, and then I'm going to lay them onto a tray with some baking paper just to drain them a little bit and leave them there until we're ready to wrap our enchiladas up. So the tortillas are now cooling off a little bit so they're not too hot for me to handle. I'm going to dice up my chicken breasts. I've got two large chicken breasts there. I've got a medium sized onion and I have got four garlic cloves. I'm going to chop all of that up and pop that into the frying pan. chicken, the onion and the garlic until it's nice and brown and to that we are going to add some homemade taco seasoning um, 
So you can use your shop-bought taco seasoning if you like. I'm just going to use a heaped teaspoon of that. And then we're going to add to that some Italian herbs. Just a mixed Italian herb. And I'm just going to do a nice little sprinkle of those. So I'll go ahead and brown all this up and then we'll come back. Okay, to that we're going to add a little bit of cracked pepper. And then we're going to use some of my tomato paste. Now the recipe for that is on the channel. Um, you can just look it up. I'll also link the video in the description box for you as well for a member to do it. So we're just going to add maybe six or seven tablespoons. A bit more. Just whatever you think to give yourself a nice sauce. And then to that we're going to add and I've only got a teaspoon here in front of me, so I'll have to improvise, of sour cream. So, two nice big creamy blobs of sour cream. And we're just going to mix that through, and that's going to give us our beautiful enchilada sauce. So then we're going to let that simmer, let the flavours work their way through. And we'll let that simmer on a low heat for about 10 minutes and then we'll assemble them. Okay, it's time to put these together. So we're going to take a toasted tortilla and then we're going to try not to put a lot of sauce in this tortilla because we don't want to make it soggy at this stage. But we want to put a nice good amount of meat in it. And then we're going to Put it down on the tray and we're going to wrap it. So I like to wrap it and then pop it on its on its bottom there like, like that. Hopefully you can see that. My table's not quite wide enough to show you everything. So I will go on and get all six of these done and then we'll get to the next stage. Okay, so that's all six tortillas are there, all wrapped up. They've all got their chicken inside. So what I've done here is I've put all of the remaining sauce that was left in the pan into a container. And what we're going to do now is we're going to pop that sauce over the enchiladas. Yum, yum. Now these are a bit messy. Um, when they're cooking because obviously the sauce goes everywhere and the cheese that's going to go on is going to melt and we also put sour cream on but we've got baking paper down so we can just simply wrap up the baking paper and throw it out and hopefully we won't have too much of a mess and there we go and that's part of the reason why we don't use all the sauce inside as well because we're going to put it on the outside okay so we're going to get some sour cream and we're just going to put a few little dabs of sour cream across the top if you've watched any of my previous videos we buy sour cream by the bucket we absolutely love it we use it on a lot of different things it keeps so well um, and it's much more economical to be buying it in a bucket and I figure sour cream's already sour so how can it go off the only thing it can do of course is go a little mouldy when it's a little bit older but ours never never seems to get to that stage because we uh, use it so much change spoons because I don't like to put a dirty spoon back into my and that actually stops the mold um, it back into my sour cream bucket and I've got a bit of enchilada sauce on my spoon so I try not to contaminate it it's just a little trick for you okay now we're going to get some grated cheese and we're just going to sprinkle grated cheese all over them then we're going to bake them in the oven for about 20 minutes on a moderate oven just keep your eye on them you just want that cheese to go nice and crispy and then we're going to serve them 
on the fried rice. And there you go. It goes straight into the oven. Now just finally, I just wanted to show you how easy this fried rice is. So I've just got water in here and butter as per the instructions on the back of the pack. And then you just simply put the rice in, give it a bit of a stir, let it boil for a while and then um, wait until all of the moisture's gone, then it's ready to serve. So there we go, enchilada on a bed of fried rice. And for dessert, we're having those strawberries from Sunday with a bit of sugar and a bit of whipped cream. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. See you later.